Hey beautiful people, thank you so much for joining in. I hope you guys are doing pretty well and thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video, we will understand difference in posts and pages. So there are two methods in order to publish content on your WordPress website. First is post and second is pages. We have already discussed, a, you know, initial difference when we actually discussed the overview of the dashboard. But in this video, we will be discussing more in details. So that's how posts dashboard looks like. And that's how the pages are look uh, pages look like. But what is the difference? So in order to show you the difference, let me give you an example of a website just for educational purpose. And with that example, I will show you the difference in pages and posts. So the difference in order to understand the difference, the example is the wordpress.org. That is the official website of WordPress. Now let's understand which are pages and which are posts and in what key scenario you should uh, publish which kind of content. So as you can see right now, I am wordpress.org and this is their home page. Every time when you come onto this page, more or less the content will be similar in most of the cases. It will not be updated very frequently, right? Because the, this content, this, this content is published using a page, P A G E page, not using post. So pages are something which holds the static content, or you can say that when you don't want to update content very frequently, you want to keep them as it is for a longer period of time, then you use pages in order to publish the content like this. So if you see right now, there is a home page, we say always say home page. There are other pages like get WordPress. So this is a page download page. This is page. This is not post. This is page because most of the time the data, the information on this particular page will remain same not they will not change frequently so similarly there are multiple pages multiple pages are available on this website now what is post post is used when you are frequently posting new content on your website so just like this here on this website if you go to news so sometimes you will see blog news articles uh, newsrooms insights these kind of words so if you go to news, so right now you can see on this particular page, this is again a page, there are multiple articles. Recently, this article was published on October 18, 2022. Before that, there was an article published on October 17, 2022. So as you can see, they are publishing more and more content frequently. And for that, they are publishing the post. So if I now click on this, so this particular article, which is now in front of my eyes on your screen, this URL, this is not a page. This is a post. This is a post because this particular, uh, you can say web page or this particular, uh, you know, URL is created when you actually published a post and posts are published frequently because they, the objective of uh, publishing post or publishing article is to give latest information to the user. This can be latest trends, latest technology, latest news, your company announcement, anything, but static pages are created just to show the information that is static for longer period of time and not uh, supposed to be changed frequently. So that is the number one difference. Number two difference in post, you can uh, mention the author name. Can you see here by Jonathan? Uh, Pantanani, if I'm spelling it right. So you can mention the uh, author's name because every time when there, if there are multiple people working on your blog or articles, you can credit them by showing their name and I can access all the blogs or post by this particular author just by clicking on this name. So that's how I can sort the, you know, articles, but on pages that you will not see any kind of, you know, uh, pay author name or maybe, you know, any name of any publisher. So like this on this page, you won't notice any name of the author or the publisher who published this page because that is not supposed to, you can, you add the name, but that is not something which is a, uh, you know, general functionality or general use of a particular page. Number third, on a post, anybody or everybody can comment who is eligible as per the settings, anybody and everybody comment like for this page, it is a post I can go down and I can comment here. 
i can like this i can comment here you can see there are multiple people who commented right uh, there are multiple people who you know like this page i can comment so right now they have switched off the comment functionality as of now but i can comment i can share i can interact with the blog in terms of my opinion in terms of uh, you know share and everything but pay in case of pages pages are meant to be uh, static and they are not meant to be interactive in terms of comment you won't be able to comment on any any, any static page you won't you won't be able to see multiple shareable options or multiple shares right these kind of information will not be there and the major part is you will never see a date on a page you will always see a published date or publishing date only on a post page only on a post article so these are the some major differences so if i conclude this uh, particular uh, logic then you need to just remember one thing so you will use post or articles when you are about to publish frequent content and smaller piece of content with the latest information then you will use post and if you want to publish a static content which will remain same for a longer period of time in front of the user then you will use pages so that is the biggest difference that is the i would say broad difference that you should remember between post and uh, post and page and if you want to know in detail i would leave a screenshot of an article or maybe reference link and in, in the description for you guys so that you can read it out or much in detail but re more or less i have covered all points which are relevant to this particular topic so i hope now you are clear with post and pages because in next video we will be using this concept in order to set up our blog or in order to create our new pages